Obviously, we see Katara, Toph, and Zuko. But what about the rest? I think that there's two likely answers. The first is that Sokka died of natural causes in his 70s to 80s. The other possibility is that he was killed during the first conflict with the Red Lotus when Korra was still a child, but in the context of the show, it doesn't really come across this way. Suki is probably the character we know the least about. There is a likelihood that she's still alive in The Legend of Korra, but I find her absence to be very suspicious, even if Suki is the most minor character of Team Avatar. She's even shown in the first episode when describing how Aang saved the world. And based on Sokka's absence of children outside of possibly Su Yin, I think the prevailing theory that she either died or had a falling out with Sokka later in life seems plausible. Although maybe Sokka and Suki just chose not to have a family, or Suki had to lead Kyoshi Island or something which could explain her absence. Aang died due to complications from being trapped in the iceberg for 100 years. I would imagine it's probably because of the physical toll that the Avatar state extracts on the body, which Aang used for 100 years to keep himself trapped in the iceberg.